Uh, honey, can you give me some paper towels? It's just dripping everywhere. Ugh. Elgo reached out to me to see if I wanted to try their newest and latest resin 3D printer, the Saturn IV Ultra. I said, sure, why not? I basically have zero experience with 3D resin printers. What possibly could go wrong? This is the Elugu Saturn IV Ultra. It starts out at $399. There's also the Saturn IV that starts at $299. So currently we're going to be reviewing the Saturn IV Ultra. Let's go over some of the specs, shall we? The build size on the X is 218.8, on the Y it's 128.8, and on the Z it's 220. The display resolution is 11,520 on the X and 5,120 on the Y. They claim it's about 12K. There is automatic bed leveling that starts on every print. You have a mechanical sensor alarm, AI camera detection, camera monitoring with time lapse, Wi Fi, temperature control detection, and tilt release technology. It could also print really fast. You're looking at up to 150 millimeters per hour max. There is also power loss recovery. Oh, one moment, we got some Peely action. Packaging is top notch. Everything was protected and um, everything just seems to be very well built. You have two thumb screws that holds the vat on and you have two uh, pour spouts and you have another Peely here. The build plate is, has a nice texture to it, so I do not know how well it will stick, so we'll definitely be giving that a uh, try with some prints. I like that it has this hinged cover that's frictioned, so it could just stay up and go down, however you so choose. Let's go ahead and attach the antenna. Yes, it only has Wi-Fi, it does not have Ethernet, and uh, lift it up. You get this very bright yellow USB thumb drive that comes with a Chichu box software as well as installation files and everything that you need to get going. Go ahead and plug in your DC converter and you're almost ready to go. Uh, yeah, it also has a real nice touch screen. I failed to mention that. And when you power it on, it will go through a device self test. And it only takes a few seconds for it to finish. And after it's uh, done checking your Z, X, and light source, fan status, LED temperature detection, and mechanical sensor, it'll be off to the races. And I believe it only takes about 20 to 30 seconds for all this to complete. And the touchscreen is very responsive. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is connect it to your Wi-Fi source. What this will allow is um, to do Wi-Fi updates directly to the printer as well as send files to the printer to print. So let's go ahead and connect and already we have a new version. I was sent this uh, about uh, two weeks ago and um, it's nice to see that they're already updating it. So go ahead and do your updates as often as you can. All right, let's go ahead and reboot it and um, make sure our updates applied. And of course it'll do a self test once again. Now, I'm a pretty much a rookie when it comes to uh, resin printing. Last time I touched a resin printer was over three years ago, and I've never seen something like this. Maybe you have. It is called a Z-Tilt Release. Whoa, that is definitely something new to me. Now again, it may be not new to you, but um, yeah, please tell me what the benefit is for this feature in the comments below. I have no clue. Now, this also has this AI camera, and you could monitor it um, through the app, as well as do its time lapse, and it will detect errors, and if it needs to be refilled. And you'll see that max for the line back there. And do not exceed it, because you definitely do not want any spillage when it comes to filling up your resin. Since I do not have a um, wash and cure station, I went with this uh, water washable resin. Again, you definitely want to make sure that you follow all safety protocols. And what are those safety precautions? Wearing gloves, wearing eye protection, maybe wearing a respirator, and definitely using this in like a garage, open air environment. And now let's talk about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. 
Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Are you looking for rigid, flexible PCBs? Are you looking for them to assemble them for you? Well, they can. And they also offer other services, such as 3D printing, injected molding, and CNC. Heck, they even have a community section where you could buy a project and assemble it on your own. If you're looking for any of these services, please reach out to PCB Way. I'd like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring today's video of the Elegoo Saturn 4 Ultra. Now I did uh, wirelessly send these files to the printer for printing. As you can see, you get a lot of information on the display right before the print starts. And here is that Z tilt release in action. Again, I don't know what this is really for or what it's about, but again, if you could please comment below on what this feature really does and what the benefits are. It says like on Elgu's site that um, it's for quick release or something. Now, since it has a camera, you really don't need to have the lid open at all. And plus, you want to have it closed so that way, you know, it doesn't uh, have any UV light going in. So you just go into your slicer software, choo, choo box, and go into the camera, and you can now monitor your print that way. But you can also do time lapses as well. So as you can see, it says blinking for recording. So I'm going to go ahead and record a couple of the prints that I did and see how they came out. Now that is some pretty darn smooth time lapses. And four hours and seven minutes, we got this uh, house printed. Pretty cool. And I did do the tree or the supports uh, <laughs> auto-generated and I maybe shouldn't have done it like that. So you got that quick release on the top and we're just going to uh, pull it forward, but be careful. You don't want to get resin everywhere. So you want to tilt it and then let it drain out a little bit. Just try to drain as much of the resin off before you remove it from its uh, little area here. And now we're going to take our spatula and pop off the print. Now, technically, this is only my second resin printer, and I only printed two things on my first resin printer. So I am a rookie. So again, I made the mistake of just letting the software do all these tree supports and uh, there's a ton of them. They're going inside the windows and everything, but they are breaking off pretty easily. But I'm also breaking some of the model too. So definitely um, want to put your own supports and um, they're definitely not needed everywhere on this model. So then I decided to uh, try to search for a model. I got on Colts 3D. I'll Go ahead and uh, leave it in the description and um, when we're reviewing the models i'll show you who the creator is and everything give full credit to who made these files but i wanted to find a model that had a lot of really fine texture on it and i found this uh werewolf model it says it's five hours and 49 minutes but i believe this actually took around four and a half hours to complete again i did the auto generated uh supports and um might be a little excessive here but you can see how nice and smooth this really is. I really like this uh, quick release for the build plate. It comes off really easily. Just slide it. And again, you're going to want to make sure that you drain the leftover resin back into the vat. And the model came off pretty darn easily. So you got to be careful here not to ruin anything. So we'll just leave the rest on the build plate there and start Picking off these supports. For some reason, these supports seem to be a little bit easier to get off, but again, there's a lot of supports here, probably more than it's needed. And there's a lot of delicate uh, areas, so I'm being extra careful not to break anything. Now you can already see how much detail is in this model. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have a wash and cure station, so I'm going to have to uh, use water in a bucket and just rinse it off that way. I decided to look for some miniature buildings with lots of detail. Look at that stucco off of there. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, I broke some of it. Uh, ignore that, please. But anyways, I was looking for miniatures uh, that maybe a coworker of mine could use for his train set. Now this is the Manor 11 by Heratola Miniatures. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe it's Heratolia? 
Sorry. Anyways, I was looking for something with a lot of detail. I mean, look at those shingles. I mean, everything just came out really good. Ignore that. I broke it. Yes. I wasn't very gentle. I'm sorry. Again, I'm using a um, you know water wash resin. So um, there is going to be some residue left because I do not have a wash and cure station. I would suggest anyone that's uh, doing this type of printing to get a wash and cure station. I'm very impressed with the quality of this model. Next, I wanted to find a miniature that had a lot of detail. And I found this. Left Mesh Studios. Um, it's like a werewolf. I mean, look at the detail. Look at the jacket. You can see some of the nubs there from when I broke off the supports, but they will come off. Let's see. There you go. See, it comes right off. So I just got to finish some cleanup here. Again, this was only washed. It hasn't been cured yet. And wow. I mean, the detail is amazing. Any of those uh, dust particles, whatever, is from a paper towel. But I mean, look how nice and crisp this is. I could totally see why people get into resin 3D printing. It is just, the quality is amazing. Now, of course, if you're used to 3D printing like this with resin, but for someone like me that hasn't done this really before, I am just literally blown away. And maybe you are too. I do not know. Um, I'm a rookie when it comes to this. Absolute rookie. So I like it a lot. And since I don't have a curing station, I use this ultraviolet light to cure. What's the next best thing? Well, let's bring it outside and uh, curing times may vary. So what are my final thoughts of the Saturn IV Ultra? First off, the price. At $399, I think you're getting one great deal. And you get a ton of features. You got that uh, tilt release technology thing. Still don't know what that's all about. You got the fully automatic bed leveling. You got the mechanical sensor alarm, AI camera, the camera real-time monitoring, Wi-Fi, temperature detection, resume print after power outage, over the air update, uh, capacitive touch screen, and it produces some really stellar time lapses. And last but not least, print quality is, as far as I'm concerned, very, very good. Now, what are some of the negatives? Well, no product is perfect, so let's go over some. You notice on the back of this machine, it has some type of uh, accessory port, and there's no VAT heater. Apparently that's important. And lo and behold, just today, when I'm editing this video, Algo releases this mini chamber heater. It's not just for this, but it's also for other 3D printers as well. Now, some say at this price point, maybe it should have one, maybe it shouldn't. But at least there's an offering from Algo as a solution. Now, no matter how hard I tried to drain the extra resin off, I would still get a couple drips on the machine itself and that is a big no-no you definitely don't want any resin falling internally in the machine but then again i looked and there's actually a drip tray that's supposed to come with it now this is a review unit and mine did not come with this drip tray so elegu if you wouldn't mind please sending me one hopefully it was just forgotten about and you Everyone that receives this machine will get that drip tray because that is a must have. Now, there's personally a reason why I stayed away from doing anything with resin printing because I'm on crutches with one leg and I always worry about cross-contamination. Now, resin printing isn't for everyone. And with the resin printing, it's um, definitely, you have to be careful and the fumes can get to you. So. I would suggest uh, doing some more research and um, making sure that if you get into resin printing that it's something that you are looking to conquer yourself. Now hopefully I've given you enough information to see if this 3D printer is right for you. Of course there's links down below to, you know, if you so choose to purchase it. I do thank you for tuning in to Tripods Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you the next time on Tripods Garage.